Hi everybody and welcome to the topic of weight. I'm going to start this video by having a look at the different units of weights and figuring out which of those we are actually supposed to be learning. This video is very much connected to one I already have posted on measuring lengths and is also similar to the one on capacity. So you might want to have a look at those as well. I'll put links at the end. So let's have a look. Let's make a start by trying to simplify things a little because we have a slight problem when it comes to measuring weight. In a similar way to other types of measurements that we make, such as length and capacity, we unfortunately are still running two different systems. Uh, despite the fact that the UK was supposed to convert to the metric system way back in the 1970s, we still hear a lot about the older types of measurement. For instance, if you were to ask someone how much they weighed, they may give you the answer in stones and pounds. They may say, I'm 10 stone 3. Similarly, if you look in cookery books, you may still find recipes where things are measured out in ounces. The problem is, these are not the units that you will find in an exam. So we really need to be trying to forget these. In fact, the ones we want are the metric units. And when it comes to weight, these are grams, kilograms, and also milligrams. The nice thing is we can recognize them because they all end with grams. In fact, to start with, I am just going to talk about two of those units because these are the ones that we commonly see in functional skills exams. And they are the gram, which we write as G, and the kilogram, which we write as Kg. And quite simply, 1000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So we have a conversion rate of a thousand. So if we are going to convert from grams to kilograms, then we need to divide by 1000. And similarly, if we're changing from kilograms to grams, we have to multiply by 1000. And the trick is to remember whether we are dividing or multiplying, because this is the slightly complicated thing. If we are going from a small unit to a larger unit, we divide a larger unit back down to a smaller unit, we have to multiply. So for instance, three kilogram, we would have to multiply by a thousand because that would equal 3000 grams. Let's have a look then at a typical kind of question we might end up facing. Uh, here John is using 160 grams of food to feed his dog each day. He buys a large bag containing 3 kilograms of food. The question we're being asked is how many days will he be able to feed his dog with that bag? And here's the problem. 160 grams of food, but the bag we are being given in kilograms. Therefore, we need to convert one or the other. So let's have a look at the bag of food. It's three kilograms. Well, we know that if we take the three and we multiply it by the thousand, that equals 3000 grams of food. Now that we have that figure, 3000 grams, we can divide that by the number of grams that he needs each day. And you would have a calculator to help you do this. The answer in this case is 18.75. Now what this means is that he has enough food to feed the dog for 18 days and he would have a little bit left over, but he hasn't enough for 19 days. And here's a different type of problem. Uh, we are simply this time being asked to add up the following weights. We're given 1.5 kilograms, 155 grams, 1420 grams and 0 0.7 kilograms and it's asking us to give our answer in kilograms you've possibly identified the problem here in that the top one and the bottom one are in kilograms but the middle two here are given in grams so we are again going to have to do a conversion so the top one 
is already in kilograms so we can leave that exactly as it is but the 155 grams in order to convert into kilograms we are going to have to divide by 1000 and the answer to that is 0 0.155 so that is the equivalent in kilograms again 1420 we are going to have to convert to kilograms divide by a thousand and we get 1.420 oh not 0.7 kilograms that is already in kilograms therefore we now have all four amounts in kilograms and if we add it up we find our answer is 3.775 and as requested, we've given our answer in kilograms. You may recall at the beginning that I did say there were three different measurements that ended in grams. Not just the gram and the kilogram, but the milligram. This doesn't particularly appear in uh, functional skills, but it's something you might want to have a look at for the future. So, let's have a look at the conversion rate again. We know that grams to kilograms we divide by a thousand and kilograms to grams we multiply by a thousand well in fact the relationship between milligram and gram is the same milligrams are very very tiny things and in fact usually the only time we ever see them is maybe on packets of medicines such as paracetamol they tend to come in milligrams well in fact to convert from milligrams to grams we divide by a thousand there are 1000 milligrams in a gram so to convert from grams to milligrams we multiply by a thousand again not something you might need immediately but it's nice to know the conversion rates I hope you found that useful uh, as promised I have put links to videos on lengths and capacity in the description at the bottom and also to my side here, there's a video on multiplying by tens, hundreds and thousands, which is a skill that comes in useful when you're converting the weights. If you found this useful, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to hear about further videos, also hit the notifications button as well. Thank you.